watching my videos. Now, I have a different video for you guys. This is my best friend, Natasha. She's my work bestie slash best friend. And I wanted to do the best friend tag with her because uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> So we have 15 questions and we are going to answer those questions about each other. So the first question is, who is more extroverted or introverted? I think I'm extroverted. You're extroverted? Yeah. Kind of sort of a little bit. I guess. I mean, I'm more, yeah. No, you're not. I speak to everybody. You do, but you don't go out. Eh. She'd rather yeah. stay home. She's she's yeah. she's a homebody. Yeah. It's comfortable that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is more optimistic, pessimistic? I'm definitely optimistic. I am. Don't believe her eyes. I am optimistic. Um we're supposed to be answering this about each other. Oh really? I think so. Huh. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> well <laughs> I think she's more pessimistic. I am not. Those are usually the ones that's just like the glass is half empty versus half full. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my thing is be positive to the point where you're just naive. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, hey. You know, what about me? Okay. Huh? Wh who is more optimistic or pessimistic? Mm, I'm sorry. I think you're more pessimistic. Me? Ignore her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your friend great a great friend? Did you sneak that question in here? No. <laughs> she snuck that question no, in here. No, I didn't. I didn't. No. Um, Natasha is a great friend. Well, Natasha is the only friend I have <laughs> that I can call when I'm seriously having a dramatic moment and she'll be like, snap out of it. Like wipe your face you're fine like everything's gonna be fine like i don't even know why you're calling me like she really makes me think about situations at that i think are totally dramatic and she's like it, it's not even that bad so she's the person i call to when i'm seriously having a meltdown hmm. yeah, yeah I, I, I can't call him when i'm having a meltdown <laughs> i've tried it i she she has this thing like how she's doing now when she's laughing like i can call her and i'm like hey um i just lost half of my finger they can't find it and they're not going to be able to put it back on i'm gonna have a nubby and she'll just start laughing like she won't be like it'll be okay you know you'll still be loved she'll go into this hysterical like literally tears coming from her face laughter but i know it's just like her um what is it? What it's is it? my coping it? mechanism. I don't know how to deal how with. She copes. I don't know how to deal with yeah. like tragedy, um, injuries, or emergencies. I'm not the person. She's you call. definitely. She is a panicker. But you know what? She's still an awesome friend. <laughs> and, I mean, besides all of that, I mean, I can tell you guys some stories about how when she was warming up something in the microwave, set the microwave on fire and started running in a circle, and I'm like, dude, just press stop. <laughs> So, I mean, but yeah, she, she is. She is a great friend. Um, and I just love and admire the way that she is always trying to help. Like, she is seriously always trying to help people. And I just think it's, it's a really awesome quality to have Aww. in a friend. Yeah. All right. Question number four. What's a moment in your friendship that touched you? Well, I can't answer that one. I mm -hmm. think it's when... Your father passed away. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. See, and, and we have <laughs> wavelengths. And she's like, I really need your help. And I gathered a bunch of friends and I tried to help as much as possible. She we did. did a whole go, GoFundMe thing. And, you know, yep. we tried to get her as much money as possible because she was the one paying for the whole thing. I was. I was totally thing, tagged. So. I'm it. But hey. yeah, we try to help her as much no. as we can. So, and yeah. she did. She definitely did help me. No questions about that. And that's so interesting that you would say that because when I was looking at that question, it was like, what's the moment in your friendship that touched you? It was just like, wow, you know what? I, I can count on M. She can always, she'll always come through. You know, so what? She puts her phone on do not disturb after a certain hour. <laughs> but trust and believe, I can get to her. Yep, Operation Lojack. Yeah. She has all my phone numbers. It's, it's kind of annoying sometimes because if I'm not answering my phone, she'll call my husband. Yep. 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 Or the daughter. Yeah. Yep. So she knows how to get it. Lucky the animals don't have phones. <laughs> Gotta call them too. Uh, who handles their money better? Uh, yeah, I 
I got to stretch pennies, nickels, cents. Yeah. So I, even though she's a couponer and she saves a whole lot of money, um, I think I do pretty good at stretching a dollar. Yeah, she does. She does really well stretching yeah. dollars. And I learned a lot from couponing from her. She, she was used the to laugh first at me. I used to laugh at her she and be like, you're using a coupon. I'm not going with you. I can't use a coupon. And now I'm like, you don't have a coupon? Now she has a book. <laughs> like a, just flip the page. So, yeah. Who's more reliable? Okay, if she wants that one, I will totally give her that one. Um... Yeah, she can have that one. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm reliable, but I'm also, I will, I will admit, I'm I'm a flake. I can be a flake, hey. Yeah, but like, are you going? Are you going? I don't want to be the only one there. Yeah. And I get there, and she's not there. And then she's like, mm, okay. Like Just to always. let you know, a lot of times I'm running behind schedule, but eh, I flake too, so, yeah. Who's better at talking to people? Yeah. I always say, oh, bring me anybody. It doesn't even matter if they don't even speak English. I can talk to them. Mm -hmm. and contrary to popular belief, even though I'm on YouTube, I'm actually kind of shy. I don't, yeah. I'm really awkward and weird around new people. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh, man. What is a unique thing about your friend that only a few people know? Oh man, that's secrets right there. You know what? I feel like we didn't read these questions. We should have read these questions a little more before. You know, I mean, I think we had breezed through them, but now I'm starting to see questions that pop up that I don't remember seeing. What is a unique thing about your friend that only a few people know? Well, I can, I can, I can lead on that one. So, um, I think the most unique thing about M is the fact that maybe a lot of you guys don't know, but if you have like demons attached to you or bad energy, uh, sorry people, it is what it is, but she can see it. Um, also, she can see auras like if you were to come in, you know, she might see dark gray for those of you that are dark or for those of you that are light, she'll see bright lights and reds and yellows and purples and I think that's really cool. It's a gift. I, yeah. And a she curse. Can, she can see it. I I just kind of feel it and have to hope that my feelings are right. Yeah. yeah. But I've had that since I was a kid, guys, so it's not anything new or something I just discovered. I've been like that since I was a kid. So. Yeah. And she's not reading from crystal balls. So no, no, no. And I don't yeah. do, like, the tarot cards or anything. Yeah, I no. believe in God and everything, so I'm not, like, a satanic worshiper. <laughs> Thank goodness. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I can see scary. like auras and energies and feel energies and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't, all I know are secrets and. Oh, I'm sorry. We're in a dusty office area and I feel the dust getting to my nose. So what is a me. unique thing about your friend that only a few people know? Wow. She stumped. Do, 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 I am stumped because if I say something that it's, do, it's you know, do, do, just. Do, 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 uh, I know. So, if you're her friend and you hurt her, she'll forgive you. Everything will be cool. But if you do it again, she'll slowly but surely just block you from her life and then she has no problem with like never speaking to you again. Yeah, that's a bad quality. Yeah, that's <laughs> one thing that I've learned. Yeah. And like she had a really good friend who did that to her and she was really good and I'm like, all right, I moved up the ladder. I moved up the ladder. So she moved down the ladder and I moved up the ladder. I know that's horrible to say, but I'm like very protective of she my friends. She really has been saying this to me now for a while. She's like, yes. I'm like, her taking her spot. Oh, that's too funny. Because I'm super protective. So yeah, I love her to death. I don't like to see her get hurt. So if your best friend is single, describe their dream partner. Well, she's single. Ooh, she totally snuck that one in there. I did not sneak any of these questions. She's had this list for like a week. You know I, what? And I'm sorry, but it I have had it for a week. But as you can tell, it's a little crumpled. So it's kind and of... And I actually pulled the list from her. I'm like, do you have the list? So this is the list that she's had for a week. So um, if your best friend described their dream partner. Um, chocolate. Tall. Mm -hmm. Not skinny. Nice I'm shoes. Good career. Loves children. Um, kind, but not too kind. <laughs> yeah, don't want to push over. <laughs> Funny would be good. Um, independent, and lets her have her independence at the same time. And charming. 
I yeah, think. he doesn't have to ride up on the horse though. Yeah, but yeah, but can you come in a car? Can yeah, she has a car? lot of requirements. It's it's really hard yeah. to narrow it down for Natasha, not really, but, but yeah, okay. I think I've hit the the point. The shoes Cord. are huh? Core pieces. I'm. I mean, yeah, she's on this thing. Okay, so. So, I mean, I used to have this thing. Oh, I still have this thing. I'm sorry. I don't like dirty shoes. I Like, seriously. I mean, it's it only takes a little bit to just kind of clean them up a little bit. But, you know, if your shoes are filthy and it looks like you've been wearing them all your life and you just have not cleaned them. Mm. Sorry, I can't talk to you. Is that yeah. shallow how? No. That might be a little shallow. I mean, shallow that's her out, thing. But, Everybody has their thing. Yeah, so. but I mean, if your shoes, if your shoes are like that filthy and you're not just taking the time to clean them, mm, I don't know. Yeah, shoes and she looks at hands too. So, I'm, I don't do dirty nails. Yeah, she looks. Yeah, I don't yeah. like dirty. You've nails. You got to be clean, and the shoes got to be clean, like and be clean. there's a lot of requirements. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get there. I, just the basics, you know, <laughs> like shower. You know, hello, <laughs> the basics. Sheesh, every day. None of that. would be good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Skipping a day is cold. I can't shower. Yeah. Ew. Mm -mm. What is your best friend really good at? Oh God, she's good at a lot of stuff. She's good at um, finding deals. Like if you're finding a deal, like you find something you like. Oh, there has to be a coupon for that. She's good at finding coupons for stuff. She's good at managing her money. She's good at being she's a mom. She's good at finding coupons too. Um, she's good at being a friend. She's pretty good at raising Amanda. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. She's good at being a mom too. She's an adorable daughter who I talk about all the time. Oh, so what am I good at? <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. You know, can I answer the question? <laughs> I'm sorry. Which one are we on? Who? What is your best friend really good at? Well, hello. I mean, everybody knows she's good at couponing. So. She I mean, she literally has that down to a T. I'll come into the office. I'm like, hey, what are you working on today? And she'll have all the papers open, the coupon book open. Um, she'll be writing all her deals down. And then, of course, she comes back and she's like, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> seriously, that's how she, that's just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. And she's like, yeah, I got all of this for free, for free, for free. And so, yeah. What is your best friend terrible at? Well, I mean, hello, they already know that you are terrible at, um, she's a panicker. So when it comes to um, not panicking, yeah, she's not too good about that. Oh, that right. is her. So we're going to pause yeah, this real I'm sorry, quick. We are going to pause quick. it. And work, we'll is right call. work was calling. Yeah, work. Mm. We're like on our lunch break. Okay, so she says I'm terrible because I panic. Yeah, and I say she's terrible at, oh, man, I just had it in my head. I was thinking about it, too. <laughs> she must not be that bad at it. Um, <laughs> oh, she's a procrastinator. Oh. Oh, I am. Yeah, she'll I wait am. till the very last minute to do something, and it drives me nuts sometimes. But yeah, she's a procrastinator. I am, and I know procrastination kills, but I still do it. <laughs> oh, man. Guilty. So, question number 12 is what do you admire most about the other person? Oh, man, I admire a lot about you. I think that kind of goes back to my other one. Yeah, there's so much. Um, like, she's just a really good friend, and she's honest, and she's kind, and she's sweet, and she tells me like it is. She can make me laugh. Even when I'm yeah. crying, she'll make me laugh. And, and Melissa's pretty patient. <laughs> pretty patient. <laughs> I can be. Yeah. Yeah. Describe each other in one word. Funny. Beautiful. She's just full of words. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let me think. Now I feel like do 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 myself. Um, I know it's like, dang, you can't come up with one word. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about screening the, the <laughs> person that I just got the call from. <laughs> um, let's see, what's that question again? I have an answer. Describe, Describe each, each other, other in, in one word. word. Awesome. Aww. She's awesome. Yeah. What's your best friend's dream job? Well, we've kind of talked about that. Her dream job is to be able to do her nonprofit full time and also for her to be able to do her coupon videos uh, via YouTube. Full time? Yeah. Yep. Her dream job is to 
be able to work from home, A, or B, have a job that works around her daughter's schedule because she'd like to spend more time with her daughter instead of her daughter being in the after school program yeah, like all, all day. day. Yeah, it sucks. Yes, that does suck. <laughs> what was your first impression of them? That's the last question. <laughs> My first impression of Natasha was I didn't think she would like me. I was like, mm, she's not gonna like me. Wowzers. I was like, so I don't really know what my first impression of him was. I I always tell her though when I first got here, um, she her eyebrows didn't look like they look now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I was like, wow, she really has some thick, black, drawn on eyebrows. <laughs> Like, I'm serious, I'm sorry, those eyebrows, if I could show you one of her old badge pictures, she would probably literally try to kill me and whatever. But she, all BS aside, she had these real thick eyebrows that she would like pencil in, and wow. they would, they weren't thin, they were like real thick <laughs> at the, what is it, at the trunk or whatever, and from the root, and then go out and then. I needed ooh. some fashion help, so. I think I got it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she got it. She just totally made a big, 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 big turnaround since then. That's so, what happens when you're happy. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't even do those eyebrows like that anymore. No, I get them done. So that's my that's best friend, funny. Natasha. And this is mine, Kim. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Taking oh, the wait. time. You didn't yeah. even tell them how long. They're like, well, I'm pretty sure they want to know. Like, well, when did you guys meet? Oh man, I've been here 14 years. So yeah, I well. I came over in January of 2006, so we've been rolling tough ever since January of 2006. That's, that's yeah. a long time. That's over 10 years. Yeah, we've hit yeah. a decade. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yes. I will be talking to you guys real soon. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye!